Hi y'all, welcome to my new house. I just closed a couple hours ago and Wi-Fi and security and everyone is on their way to get set up. And tomorrow I actually move in. So I wanted to film a very quick little empty house tour. I love this place. It is like literally my dream home. Fizz is out in the backyard right now. Come on, come here. No, she doesn't care. You guys saw this when I was touring houses, but now it's mine. So I'm gonna show y'all. It is like actually perfect. If y'all are here, subscribe for lots of moving vlogs, lots of cooking vlogs. You imagine with this new kitchen, my life is a lot better these days. So the entire house is basically surrounding this, I don't even know what you call this, like patio area. Um, I'm gonna have a really big table out here. Imagine all the dinner parties. I'll put some string lights up in like a very classy way. The only thing I'm gonna change about this house is I'm gonna get like sliding doors. So I can just have the doors open all the time and like spray for bugs. I'm gonna have to figure that part out. Um, but this is like what I am the most excited for hosting wise. Come over here. I didn't have any storage closets at my last house. So this, hello Coco, is much better. I also have a garage and wait until you guys see this closet. Like it is stunning. And then over here, oh, you know, I literally bought the builder these days. So yeah, this will probably not be used for a long time until eventually I find a man. Um, I have no interest in that. So anyways, over here, I'm gonna have like my gym set up. Whatever, I have an attic up there. I haven't even seen this closet actually. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, uh, actually, pretty nice. Okay, moving over here. This is my dining area. I just bought a really large kitchen table that I hope fits here perfectly because if not, I am screwed, but I'm pretty sure it will. Coming over here, what you guys have, oh my God, look at this down there. <laughs> What you guys have already seen, I have the kitchen. I mean, stunning, beautiful, love so much. The most amazing part is this walk-in pantry. We just put my grandma's stuff in here, but like this, if you guys saw my last pantry, this is amazing. Um, some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cabinets. All of these, what is it like, what is that called? I'm totally blanking. Your cabinets don't slam, they, what is the word? Guys, I just got back from Nashville. I think I'm dead. Slow closed, sure. Anyways, like the storage in this kitchen is literally stunning. Here's my oven. I like that it's actually taller up here. Like, guys, I'm not kidding. Everything is just so nice and beautiful and amazing. So again, this is where I'll be entertaining all the time, have everything out here, and then we can cover the table, do some beer pong, you know, we've got everything here. Um, the living space, so the house is smaller because there's no furniture in it, but it's a pretty good size living room. I'll have a TV mounted up there. How do you, can you mount on the, I don't know. I finally have a fireplace, which I'm so excited about. And again, more storage. And I love how the living area and the kitchen connect, a hostess dream. Back here, we've got bedrooms, so it's a three bedroom house. This is going to be Dom's room or the guest room. Um, I'm actually going, I guess, I don't even know. It's really small. I guess, I don't know if the bed's gonna go this way. It's a full, and then I'll mount a TV here. It's like I'm gonna have to do that because, I don't know, we'll see. It's going to be a nice little guest bedroom, which will be so amazing for hosting. Over here is the master. And again, everything looks smaller because there's no furniture in it. I will use this like I use my other closet. I'm not gonna use it as like my actual closet. Again, I'll change those doors. Everything is perfect. So echoey in here. My bathroom is stunning. Okay, like it is so cool. The tile is sick. And then, oh, by the way, guys, I lost my voice. You can't tell. And then I have such like a deep bathroom storage, which again, I had no storage. And I, I just love that. 
Then here is the second bathroom. Shower, bathtub, bathroom is so nice. Here we are again. Um, and then again, I have more bathroom storage. That's amazing. Like everything about this is amazing. Back here, I'm gonna transform this room into a closet vanity, like glam room. Um, I don't know how my stuff's gonna fit here. Like we still have to figure that out because obviously I have a custom closet. I might have to sell and redo it. I really don't feel like doing that. So we will see. The issue is it will block off this closet. So this might just be slammed and there might, I don't know, it might just like go like this. I haven't figured that out. And it's just like one of those things that's just stressful. And I was gonna wait until we got here. This is my laundry room, which is amazing. Oh, Koga, come on. Out here is the backyard, so it connects around. Um, I eventually will build a guest house here that's going to be a studio. So the yard is going to be basically like split in two. The one thing that sucks is I feel like it's gonna block off all natural lighting to the closet room but at least I'll have like a ton. This neighborhood is just like so cozy and like, ugh, it's perfect. Then back here, actually, I guess we'll just go around. Um, we have this back here and that leads into, again, the little patio area. Okay. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And you're back here. That is the empty house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've already said all the cheesy stuff a billion times in the last vlogs and I feel like everyone's just getting tired of me saying it. So thank you guys. I would not be able to do any of the stuff obviously without y'all and I will stop talking about it because I feel like I am getting really annoying. Oh, Fitz is back. It's actually really hot here in Texas. So <laughs> we're gonna get to moving a little bit over today and then tomorrow is actual move-in day. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in our next moving vlog. Here's the thing about running into any sort of ex, and trust me, I have this down to a T because I do it do. all the time. You immediately go up to them, keep it short and sweet, say, yeah. hi, how are you? Whatever, nice, leave, you're good. Make it not weird, short and sweet, so they're like, oh, fuck, or like, you know what I mean, afterwards. Here's the thing about running into any sort of ex, and trust me, I have this down to a T because I do it do. all the time. You immediately go up to them, keep it short and sweet, say, yeah. hi, how are you? Whatever, nice, leave, you're good. Make it not weird, short and sweet, so they're like, oh, fuck, or like, you know what I mean, afterwards. There's a thing about running into any sort of ex, and trust me, I have this down to a T because I do it do. all the time. You immediately go up to them, keep it short and sweet,